play a lot of old music, but we're going to start out with a newer tune by our pal Kathy Whitesides, a great fiddler and tunesmith who lives in Seattle, Washington. And this is one that she made up after she came back from visiting her folks. And you can make up for yourself the story of how that visit went. <clears throat> it's called the Salt Lake City Blues. <laughs> turn back the clock now and uh, go on a little cross-country trip here, having left Berkeley and crossed over the Rockies to Salt Lake City. We're going to continue east and south to um, Memphis, Tennessee. I guess we're not all so far from, I don't know, how far are we from Memphis, Tennessee here? Closer than Berkeley, anyway. from one of the great blues artists of the teens, 20s, and 30s, and I think even into the 40s, Memphis Minnie, yeah. some fans there. a great, um, I always say she was, the, she was the Joni Mitchell of her day without all the fame and fortune, unfortunately, but a great singer, great guitarist, and a great songwriter, and this is one of hers. It's called Lonesome, Lonesome Shack. Out across the hill, I built a lonesome shack. So I'd like 
song of quite uh, many decades ago and in in today's um, climate of so many homeless people it just has taken on an even more resonance and it's so terrible that things haven't changed that much since that song was written a long time ago but we're going to lighten up things a little That's bit. That's right. We're going to do one from a Texas songster named Nance Lipscomb. Now, this one has, this is one of the ones with the mysterious metaphors, oh, right? Oh, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll have a hard time figuring this one out. So, this is called Shake, Shake Mama. Start slipping, my call won't even sing. 
towards the hillbilly side of the blues and um, one of the old-time artists who sort of combined those two things was a fellow by the name of Doc Boggs. Anyone here heard of him? Yeah. All right. At least one person. All right, several then. He was um, a coal miner and a banjo player and singer from uh, Kentucky, I believe. And um, this is a this is a Bible story, even though it's not Sunday. And um, sometimes these old story songs, when I sing them, I can just picture the whole thing, just like you might see it on the big screen here. And this is one where I can just see the whole thing in my mind's eye, and maybe you will too. It's the story of the prodigal son. When I left my father's house, well supplied I made a mistake and I've done wrong now I'm dissatisfied I believe I'll go back home I believe I'll go back home I believe I'll go back home acknowledge I've done wrong 
thank you so much. Um, you want to play this one? I think so. Well, uh, sometimes in California, when Anne Savoy comes out there, um, we play in a band called the Ra Anne Savoy and her Raggedy Ann Dance Band, and we've done some duet shows too, and I'm very sorry that she's playing right now on some other stage, but uh, in her honor, I'm going to play, uh, I'll play a Cajun two-step for you. And uh, this one's named after a little town called Mamu. It's called a Mamu two-step, and there's plenty of room to two-step if anybody feels like doing that. <laughs> Cajun music. You know what? I, I want to do one. I want to do my handy hand. Is okay. that okay with you? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll do another um, old bluesy number. And this one comes from a woman named um, 
Victoria Spivey. I don't think she wrote this song, but she recorded it. And she, um, she had the distinction of um, probably the only artist to record both with Fats Waller and Bob Dylan. <laughs> Yes, she, she, she was the first person to sign Bob Dylan when he first came to New York. She was originally from Texas, but she wound up uh, in New York where she had a record company. But this is one, an old one. This is another one with not very mysterious metaphors. There, one time we did a show where there was a sign language interpreter, and this one really stumped them. <laughs> it's called My Handyman. from a 
band from Texas, a song called East Texas Serenaders. And this one is called Babe, not the movie. <laughs> Nothing to do with a pig. And they were a very interesting band with a couple of fiddles, a banjo yuga guitar, and a cello. And they, they, they were kind of a pre-Western swing band, uh, kind of before Bob Wills started doing his thing. They were, they were serenading and playing for dances, and I, I always really wondered what the dancing would have looked like, so maybe you guys can demonstrate for us if you feel so moved. <laughs> As I was playing that tune and just thinking about this building too, I think this building was built in 1922 or 23, the same kind of era that a lot of this music is from, and it just feels so right here. Um, I'm going to sing you a song that comes from a great string band, a black string band called the Mississippi Sheiks. Um, they made like hundreds of records, them and their various configurations, <clears throat> and. Um, this is one that I like a lot called Stop and Listen.
out on a record. It's kind of an old record, but it's uh, still good. And they have some of them over at the, um, at the record store there, so go check them out. Um, well, I think we'll play a waltz for you now. It's yeah. time for a waltz. This one was written by our friend Bernie Hawkins, who's a great blues guitarist from Pittsburgh, but he also wrote this just gorgeous waltz. And uh, he wrote it for guitar, but I put it on the fiddle. It's called the Monongahela River Waltz. And please choose your partner for a waltz. Okay. <laughs>
much for dancing. Well, um, I know that this whole festival is named after Lotus Dickey, and, um, yeah. and we are the, this year's Lotus Dickey artists, so we get to do, well, not that we need any excuse, because this next one is one that we play often. Let's see, do you have the tape on? Oh, there it is. Oh, yes, sorry. It's okay. Right. You need it. And um, I like to sing this with my pal, Franny Leopold, so I'm going to send it out to her. And I know there's some people here who know Franny. She lives up in Mendocino. At one time, we were at a music camp where we were, we were partying pretty heavily and not sleeping very much. And one day we sang this song. We got, we got blue on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We, we forgot the days of the week. We just like <laughs> couldn't remember. But uh, hopefully I'll remember them for you tonight. I no. think you want to be two, two more up. Oh, okay. I mean, Usually I don't even play guitar on this. Usually I play the fiddle. And I think you're going to like that better. And we, um, we kind of tacked on this uh, tune that we learned through our friend Hank Bradley. That's, what's it called? Partides. Partides. What does that mean? Uh, I once knew, but I forgot. Oh well, we don't know what it means, but it's a good tune, and it kind of goes with the kind of goes with the melody of this one. And if you know it, uh, if you know Blue on Monday, please sing along with me, and I'll, I'm going to try and get get through the whole thing and remember all the days in order. <laughs> so, Lotus Sticky, wherever you are, um, this is for you. Run down, right?
get a while about you, baby. I can sit and try to reconcile without you. Maybe you don't understand. I mean, that's amazing. That is amazing. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, we, we have a couple more for you here. And um, we're in the middle of making a blues album, and this next one is going to be on there. This one comes from uh, Sarah Martin, I believe. Yeah. It's called A Green Gal Can't Catch On. festival and especially Tamara Lowenthal for inviting us here and and also want to uh, give a shout out to Jay Layden. I don't know if he's here. Oh yeah, Jay. Well, there he is. He's, he's in disguise. Um, there he is. So he's the real he's the real reason why we are here. So thank you, Jay. That was 
he lobbied heavily for us to come here. And we, yeah. <laughs> And uh, we also want to thank Brad Leftwich and Linda Higginbottom for lending us this beautiful little guitar. <laughs> We're going to close off with another one from Louisiana. This is not a Cajun tune. It's from northern Louisiana, recorded by a guy named Heider Colvin back in the early 30s. And it's called the Monroe Stomp. And so thank you again yeah. for for all your energy. And Thank you. Yeah. If you want to get out and stop, yeah, that's you're right. more than welcome.